Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install Putty on a Chromebook. But first, if you like installation videos on Chromebooks and on Windows, please make sure to subscribe for more. Okay, let's get to it. The first thing I need to do is enable the Linux development environment. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the launcher here, and I'm going to search for my settings, and I'll click on my settings, and on the left hand side of my settings, I have advanced here. I'm going to click to expand that tab and I'm going to go on down to developers and click on that. From here, I can turn on the Linux development environment by clicking turn on. This will bring up a setup wizard and I'll start to go through it. So I'm going to click next and it's going to give me a username and that's based off my email. Now this can't be changed later, I don't believe. So you want to pick a username that you definitely want and then it's also going to give me a recommended disk size. I'm going to keep both as is and click install. And that's going to take a few minutes to go ahead and install, so I'll come on back once that's done. Once you turn on the Linux development environment, a terminal will pop up. I can close my settings here. I'm going to maximize this and increase the font so you can see what I'm doing. And I want to make sure everything is up to date. And I can do that by typing sudo apt get update and then two ampersands for and sudo apt get dist upgrade. And I'll do a dash y to say yes to the additional space. I'll hit enter. That update will take maybe a minute or two. Once that's done, I can do control L to clear all this stuff out. And now we can go ahead and install putty. To do that, I'm going to type sudo apt get install putty, and I'll give a dash y flag to answer yes to the additional space. And I'll hit enter, and there we go, putty is installed. Now if I go here, I'm going to search for putty, and sometimes this comes up, sometimes it doesn't come up right away, and you might have to wait a minute or two. And I see putty right here, I'm going to click on that, and I'll I can pin this to the shelf now and begin using PuTTY. Now, if PuTTY doesn't open right away, let me unpin this, you can always run PuTTY from the command line and then it'll get the icon showing and you can pin the icon and get going with PuTTY. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Thanks for watching.